one of the issues that happens when we are trying to represent real numbers with a finite number of bits is that there is error being introduced right and that essentially is related to this and is described using this concept of quantization right quantization says you have some kind of a resolution which is the smallest delta the fractional part the smallest fractional part that can be represented the smallest change in a value that can be represented now ideally in real valued numbers that is you know that tends to zero right that smallest delta between two possible numbers is basically it tends to zero right but in practice with a finite set of bits there is always some smallest delta that can be resolved between numbers an example of this right i'm not going to spend much time on quantization or quantization error uh, this what i've shown over here is essentially a couple of blow up uh, plots corresponding to a small part of a sine wave right so you can see that this smooth curve right the blue line uh, i'm not sure if the colors come through clearly but the blue line that's the smooth curve essentially corresponds to a portion of a sine wave that is represented you know almost real numbers right as far as uh, computer is concerned pretty much you can think of it as this is floating point representation which we will get to next the orange curve over there shows you after i have quantized to some number of bits 16 in this case right whereas the green line shows me what happens when i have quantized to a much smaller number of bits 8 in this case okay basically what it's telling me in other words is if i have 8 bit quantization the step size that i have between successive values that can be represented is pretty large okay compared to what it could be with 16 bits which in turn would probably be considered large compared to what i could do if i had 32 or 64 bits and so on or ideally even floating point numbers on the right hand side you can see the quantization error right the quantization error the reason why it looks like a sort of a set of curves over there is because it is the difference between the actual value versus the represented value at any given point right which is why we are ending up with not just discrete values over there but a range of values and in fact if you take sort of the histogram of these things you will find that the error is more or less uniformly distributed okay now based on this there is a lot of analysis and theory which basically talks about how you can sort of discuss the impact of this quantization error on the final representation of numbers right typically what we do is we assume that this error is uniformly distributed model it as some kind of additive noise and we can define something called the signal to noise ratio okay this signal to noise ratio is a very important concept in traditional signal processing right it's one way of sort of understanding the impact of the noise it could be external noise or in our case it is quantization noise on the final quality of the result the higher the snr the better the quality of the signal the lower the snr the worse the quality right and there's a lot of you know i mean it's it's fairly easy to sort of intuitively see that as you go through the system and keep sort of transforming it maybe filtering various other things it, in general every stage over there can only possibly add more noise to the system it's really not possible to subtract noise and remove it completely from the system at most you can replace random noise with some kind of quantization noise or something else right so the important thing to keep in mind is how do you determine the number of bits required for a given uh, representation this once again you know the dynamic range is related to this concept of how much additional precision you get by having each extra bit being added into the number representation and the same calculation holds roughly 6 db per bit of additional precision that you add on okay now that's only the quantization noise it basically says that if you add more bits in the fractional portion of a uh, number representation you get basically 6 db more of signal to quantization noise at some level you will find that the quantization noise is lower than your actual system noise at which point there is no point in saying you know i have like a 24 bit a to d converter 
when my actual noise in my system is probably 12 dB. Right? So all of those have a complicated role to play in the design of signal processing systems. From our point of view, we are not going to worry too much about it right now. If possible, we will look at some of the effects of finite precision later. But right now, all that you need to know is that you know there is an impact of this, which means that you would probably want to have more number of bits. Unfortunately, from the hardware side of view, more number of bits is not good because it means more hardware and uh, slower hardware because longer critical paths. 